Well, you've probably seen the viral videos on social media starring a short-tempered cop known as Raptor 13. His antics have won him few fans. In fact, this truckie wants to sue over the way he was treated. What was your name, officer? I just yeah, to ask yeah, Raptor name. 13. Rap, what was your personal name? Raptor 13. Senior Constable Andrew Murphy needs no introduction. I'm seeing Constable Murphy strike for a Raptor. What's his name? Uh, uh, excuse me? Look out of my face. He's the tough talking. Ooh. Move it. Hold hey. on. I have what the f? <laughs> tough acting. Stand over there. I've every right to look up. And I also have a right to tell no, you to stay over there and stay away from me. Heavy handed strike force cop who's not afraid to use the full force of the law. Here you go. Thanks, mate. Oh. Sorry about that. But now it's his turn to face the consequences of his own actions. That's a defect label, mate. The other label can't be removed by anyone else having an authorised officer. It's early afternoon in Western Sydney and Raptor 13 strikes again. Why are you going so hard? You are. There's nothing wrong with the truck. Ramsey Ali has just been pulled over and he's not happy. I'll make a living motion. Just shut up and let me explain this to you, will you, OK? The more you talk, the longer you sit here, the longer, less time you've got to get at home, OK? I've given you an hour. You've got an hour to get this vehicle off the road. The anti-gang cop slaps a defect notice on Mr Ali's rig. Your front passenger seat doesn't comply with the Australian design rules. Finds him for not using his left indicator and whatever else he can find. But is the truck registered? I'm not giving you a ticket for driving on the registered trail. I'm giving you one for displaying an expired I've, label. I've, I've is forgot it sinking about in? That. Is it going in? Because That's it's an expired oh, label. Fine. It is doing it. I'll see yeah, a call. I'll see a call. The 31 year old did just that, and a judge sided with Ramsey Ali. He's not remorseful. He doesn't give in. He's, I think it is a power trip. What's his problem, do you think? I, I don't know who he's targeting. I used to think he was, he was Raptor 13, he's targeting bikies, etc. But he's targeting in, innocent ladies now. I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know what his motive is, but he, he needs to stop. You have to be the most stupidest person I've met as a driver of a motor vehicle. But the this video, captured on his own police body camera, might just be the final straw. I'm sorry, I didn't actually know. You looked in the rear vision mirror no less than four times. I, well, I wasn't sure. What is this vehicle behind you? It's a police, but I wasn't sure. I'm really actually not sure. Perhaps one of his lowest blows. Senior Constable Murphy threatens the women with a serious charge. Don't argue with me, love, or you'll be going back in the paddy wagon as an accessory to bloody murder. No respect whatsoever. You don't, you don't treat a lady like that. You treat her with respect. That video prompted Mr Ali to launch his own court proceedings against the New South Wales Police Force. I'm just trying to get some, uh, some money back in return to why he defected me for something that wasn't a defective vehicle. My, law, my court fees, my lawyer fees, I need all that reimbursed. No one is above the law, nor should anyone be above the law. Solicitor Elias Tabshuri says anyone who feels victimised by police should lodge a complaint. The vast majority of New South Wales police do a wonderful job for this state. I am sure that New South Wales police officers would look very poorly upon the behaviour of any other officer who takes it upon themselves to act in a manner that is not acceptable to the public. It's been almost two years since videos of senior Constable Murphy's hardline policing first went viral and the public outcry isn't going away. So the question remains, if the community won't tolerate the officer's behaviour, why should police? The Law Enforcement Conduct Commission found senior Constable Murphy presently unfit to be a police officer who has any contact with members of the public. But the New South Wales Police Force is still deciding what to do with him. Their official line is that he's been performing selected operational duties. But a current affair understands he was taken off the road earlier this year after receiving death threats. He should just be a nice police officer. It's simple, you know, just treat everyone fair. Not much sympathy from Mohammed Ibrahim, who is well accustomed to a Raptor rant. Even his lavish wedding car collection isn't safe. We've been running a business for 20 years and um, yeah, he defected every car in there so you bring your car in to get a bumper bar painted so we've taken your bumper off and he's put a sticker on your car. Why do you think he's behaving like this? Look, I don't know, like usually police officers aren't very rude. We, we've come across a lot of them and they're pretty good with us. Yeah, he just pick, picks on everyone, not just me. Maybe he's been bullied at school. Maybe, you know, he's had a hard upbringing, I don't know. This is ridiculous. I don't care. You go back to jail. I don't care.
Senior Constable Andrew Murphy will have to front a panel at the Professional Standards Unit to see what disciplinary action the police force will take. But no one's been able to tell us when that might happen.